G'day guys, Carla from Happy Go Travel. Today, another episode of Geared Up. A little bit different, we're in the garage. Why are we in the garage? The latest bit of gear I got is a brand new recovery hitch and it's really bloody good, so come have a look at it. One of the things that popped up in my news feeds was a carbon off-road Mega Pro hitch. I know what you're thinking, it's just another block of steel, block of aluminium. Whilst it is just another recovery hitch, it's got so many cool things that make it awesome. So this here is the Mega Pro hitch from Carbon Off-Road. It's all soft shackle and hard shackle compatible. It's got this really nice chamfered edge on it. It's got multiple pin locations. And take soft shackle. And I will just use that to show you so you can see. It's got that nice soft chamfered edge on it. This is just a drifter soft shackle. And one of these big bad boys, which I haven't used in a long time. This is a standard 4.7 ton bow shackle. So it fits in there nicely. So I'm gonna try and capture that, but you can see it's got a nice flat edge through there. So if you do need to use a hard shackle, you can. You can see even the pin locators have got a bit of a chamfer on them. So there's nice smooth edges everywhere, so it'll be easy to locate the pin. Five different mounting locations, obviously by the five different holes. You've got a shallow and a deep, and also like a mid mounting point. Sometimes you can get away with just a direct line pull and just pull straight back, but other times you need a bit of angle. So being able to mount it either way gives you options with your recovery. Let's get her in the razor bar and see what she looks like. So as you can see, fits in perfectly. That's not a surprise, right? Like this is just a 50 mil block of aluminium. That's a 50 mil standard hitch receiver. The other thing I want to show you too is um, obviously you've got safe working load of 5,000 kg or five ton, which should be plenty enough to pull the big girl out. With the patrol, because of the way my spare is so tight here, I can't actually get it through to engage this whole little mount at the deepest. But for me, that's not a major issue because so if you see the way this mid hole set up that actually puts it on that orientation in my opinion that's going to be the better orientation for a recovery so the reason that's a better orientation is if you need to pull on a bit of an angle you can do it so on the back of the razor bar if you want it in that orientation that is where it sits out so it does stick out a bit like that i don't drive around with a hitch receiver in it I, like I don't think it looks cool. <laughs> it's, and if you do it, stop it. It's not cool. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything worse than listening to rattling all day. You could tie it up and lock it into place, but just don't do it. <laughs> so that orientation definitely gives you plenty of angles. And you know, sometimes you want it to be pulled on an up angle or a downward angle, depending on where you are. Realistically for me, I'd be more inclined to use it on that orientation anyway. Plenty of mounting options with that, so it'll definitely fit all hitches. That probably is another important thing to mention about all the mounting holes is you might need this in someone else's car to pull you out. You did, like you never know. So it's good to have all the options. And I would have armed an ard whether it makes a weak point having that and that little amount of aluminium, but at the end of the day, this is rated to five ton the same as every other recovery hitch on the market. So it's gotta be a good thing. Wouldn't think I would get so excited for a block of aluminium, but it is a sleek looking bit of gear. So I've got absolutely no affiliation with Carbon Off-Road. This is just a product that I bought. And when it arrived, I went, this is a really good bit of gear. And I wanted to show you guys what it was all about. The best part as well, I didn't say the best part. It's only 70 bucks. Hard and anodized. So it's got that nice gray anodizing on it. And like, it looks really nice. Like this looks like it's worth a lot more than 70 bucks. This is made from 60, 61 T6 aluminium, all obviously machined. Doesn't weigh much. I'm gonna get the scales actually more weight. Yep. All right, zero. So we're looking at 1162 grams. Just out of curiosity, let's have a look at this one. That's much smaller hitch is still 845. So not a huge amount of weight difference between them, but I've got to say, this is much nicer, like it is this just looks like a quality bit of gear. Whereas that other one, it looks exactly like what it is. And whilst I'm still definitely in the process, I'm trying to eliminate all this big bulky, heavy stuff out of my recovery gear. 
This might be an interesting one too. Let's play these just to see what this weighs. So that shackle itself almost weighs a kilo, just under. But that's what I've been consciously doing, is trying to reduce the weight of my recovery kit, even though I know this is gonna bring it up slightly. But for 70 bucks, can't go wrong. Before I wrap this up, I'll show you one other thing. If you don't have a fancy recovery hitch, use a pin, literally, I'll get a strap. This is the way to go. Just strap, pin, the only risk is that if you have to pull on an angle, it potentially pinches your strap on the edge of the receiver. But at the end of the day, that'll get you out of trouble. And in all honesty, the pin is probably the safest thing to do. The worst possible thing that could happen with this pin is that you bend the pin. As everyone knows, you never throw a strap on a table. I'm not going to harp on about it. It's just, it's unsafe, it's dangerous. Don't take the risk. If you haven't got one of these LA ones yet, I reckon they're the way to go. I think this is the future of four wheel drive recovery. I think lightweight, soft gear, even though this is hard, but still. When it comes to recovery hitches to take soft shackles, there's a heap of awesome ones on the market and a heap that I did look at and it can only take a soft shackle. That might never be an issue, but on the off chance that you need to put a hard shackle in there, I'd rather be able to have the option to do both. For me right now, I think this is probably the best hitch receiver on the market that you can get. And like I say, it's because it's got this nice rolled edge, it's got a nice chamfered edge, it can take hard shackle, can take soft shackle. It's 70 bucks. So value for money, you can't beat it. There's nothing else that I know about like this for this price. So my opinion is that is currently the best recovery hitch on the market. It's got the same features as much more expensive hitches, but that's just my opinion. Tell me if I'm wrong. Is there something out there more awesome or is there something better that you're using? Or what have you got? Comment it below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. As always, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, go travel.